What's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to push a coin through a table. Check this out. I have this dime here. Watch, look. Actually here, go right through the table. Hmm. If you want another way to vanish a coin, watch closely. This one's pretty cool too. So you got this dime here. Watch. actually goes right through the table into that glass. Yo, what's up guys? Chris Ramsey here and welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about coin magic, which is really cool because I've not done, you know, very many coin things. And I, I heard a lot of you guys want to learn how to vanish a coin and that type of thing. So today we're going to learn how to push a coin through a table. Actually, we're going to learn multiple methods on how to push a coin through a table, all of which are more clever than the next. Everyone is cleverer. If you're interested in coin magic as well, uh, there's a lot of magic you can learn on coins in Bobo's coin magic. One second. Modern coin magic by Bobo is like the Bible of coin magic. As you can see, there's literally hundreds of effects you can do, all the slice you need to know, you ever need to know. One thing they do not really talk about is psychology, connection, the stuff that I love. This is more like the mechanical side of coin magic, okay? So don't don't fixate on the routines and the patter, fixate on the moves and then, you know, adapt those to whatever you need. But I'll leave the link below if you guys are interested in this. It's it's not that expensive. All right, and before we get into the tutorial, quick, quick word. Um, something massive has happened to my channel and I'm really, really happy about this. This makes me really excited. Uh, you know, part of being a full-time YouTuber is working with companies, getting branding deals or sponsorships or that that type of thing so I can, you know, make a living doing this. I got reached out by Squarespace. Squarespace is a website where you can build your own website. I'm actually rebuilding my website right now with them, which is awesome. Uh, but they reached out and they want to sponsor this channel. So like twice a month on the tutorials, you're going to see like a 30 second, basically like a 30 second pitch of me talking about Squarespace. Now, first of all, I wouldn't do this if I didn't believe this was a really good thing. Uh, I just don't support things on this channel that don't make sense to me. And that's like my new year's resolution. I say no to things that just don't make sense. This makes sense. We'll talk about it more a little bit later. And I'm going to try to keep it a lot of fun for you guys. So when you see this, you don't tune out. I'll make them funny. I'll make them fun. But I uh, just wanted to throw that in there and thank you guys for understanding and your support. Now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you multiple ways that you can push a coin through a table. Some of them are a little bit more sleight of handish, and some of them are really simple. So the first, first way you can actually do this is a really probably the easiest way ever is in a recent video, uh, we talked about coin lapping, which is picking up a coin like this and having it disappear when I've actually thrown it onto my lap, okay? For coin lapping, I mean, again, the idea is why is there a coin here in the first place? So you, you might have a pocket full of change, you know, uh, that you had to take your, you had to take the change out of your pocket to get to, uh, to get to your phone or something. And then that change is there. And that's how you want to be set up. You never want to just bring out a coin and say, I'm going to, I'm going to disappear this coin. It brings too much attention to the coin. It's inorganic. It seems like something is set up. So what you want to do is you want to have coins there already and be like, oh, let's try something here with this one. Right. And then, and then have it disappear. So that's the first rule. Second rule is this is a very easy thing to practice. All you really need to do to practice this is practice actually picking up this coin. So if I go here, that's what it would look like if I picked it up. See that? That's what it would look like. Don't pick it up like this and then pick it up like this because that doesn't make sense. Always pick it up like this so that the moment you don't, you know, it fools the eye. You really want to get that. It's, it's an easy thing to do. It's kind of ridiculous to just pick up a coin, but practice that and it'll give you a sense of what it should look like when you're lapping it. Once you've lapped it, here's the thing. You can have another coin in your other hand. So the same denomination. So let's say it's a dime and this is a dime. Once you do this little subtlety, you can show it quickly and you can actually just tap it on the table. Uh, that's a really cool subtlety. All I'm doing is taking this coin that I had in this hand and banging it at the exact same time as I would if I had it in this hand. And it creates an auditory illusion, which is really fooling. I mean, what the ear hears, you know, the mind believes. Even look, I'm not even touching the table. And it still looks like I have a coin in my hand, which is really cool. Another thing, another little subtlety I did with this, which was really cool, I have a ring. So that might have fooled some of you, and I really like this. So if you have a glass off to your right, 
What's really cool is that when you grab this here, your hand comes over the side and look where my ring is touching. So it kind of looks like I'm banging it over here, but I'm actually knocking my ring right here. Now don't go too hard, just a little, little quick subtlety, you know? Let's try it again. I'm gonna grab this and just, you know what I mean? Like that looks so good. It sounds good, it looks good and I've lapped the coin at this point. To produce the other coin under the table is a very, very simple thing. You're just gonna push this coin up against the table, okay, really hard. And the moment you wanna push it through, you just kinda let it flick. And that'll create a sound like this. See that? So I'm just holding it here, and then the second, bang. That's it, you're just holding it, pinching it here, you know, and then the pressure makes it sound like penetrating, okay? So once again, I'm here, I have a coin, I had all this change out, I go here, boom, and now very cleanly it's in my other hand. A, a little subtlety with this coin vanish as well is that when you come here, try to move away from the edge of the table to not bring suspicion to the edge, edge of the table. It's a small thing and it'll help you out just a little bit, but try to bring a little bit extra, another layer for them to decipher. The more uh, these little psychological layers and subtleties you have, the harder it's going to be for the spectator to reconstruct it in their mind. Now I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite, my all time favorite coin vanishes. This is a great way to vanish a coin organically if you're sitting at a restaurant or a bar, which I usually, usually sit at. It's just a great fooling visual way and there's no way they can possibly know where that coin went. So we're gonna look into that right now, but before we do, just a quick word from our sponsors. <laughs> Hi, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a website, domain, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. You can create a beautiful website or online store using award-winning templates. Squarespace templates are the most beautiful way to represent your ideas online. Imagine creating a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, upgrade, ever. Squarespace also provides award-winning 24-7 customer support. They offer a unique domain experience that's fully transparent and easy to set up. Now, Squarespace is used by a wide variety of people, whether you're a musician, an entertainer, a magician, and much more. If you're interested to start your free trial today, head on over to squarespace.com and enter the offer code Chris Ramsey for 10% off your first purchase. Nailed it! Woo! Squarespace. All right, so now I'm gonna show you my very favorite coin vanish. Now you can do this if you're sitting at a bar or a restaurant, when you have like glasses and napkins laying around or anything like that. This is a really, really fooling thing to do. And I used to perform this when I worked at the bars a lot. All you need is a small coin. So I don't suggest nickels or quarters. They're a little too big for this if you're just starting off. Pennies and dimes are absolutely perfect. So anything of this size is just really, really perfect. What you're going to want to do is have a napkin set up, okay? And if this napkin is right here, just happens, maybe you've wiped down the table or something before and the napkin is already there. That's the ideal positioning. You don't want to be like, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to show you something. You know, that kind of ruins it. So just make sure you're in this position when you start off. You have one coin. So whatever the coin you're using is, you have a duplicate of that coin in your other hand, okay? And so you're here and I'm going to say, I'm going to vanish this coin. I want the attention to be on this coin because what I'm going to do in a second is literally give you no explanation to where this coin went. I'm very far from the edge of the table. So if you do this, you want to, you know, push everything away from the edge of the table not to create suspicion because it's not where it's gonna happen. As I'm here, I'm gonna go like this and the coin's already gone, which is really cool. And I've just pushed it under the napkin. And so what you're doing here is you're, you're moving it around a circle. When I come close to the edge of the napkin, my thumb is gonna kick it out just like that. And it as it kicks it out, even the keenest eye in the world won't pick up because it's happening so swiftly. I'm here and it's being pushed under with my thumb, right? And in this case, the bigger motion covers the smaller motion, okay? So you're here, bang, and it's gone. Another thing is once you do, once you do this, you might wanna move away. The only problem is you have a sound and now you have no sound. So to cover that up, your other hand's gonna have that penny and is going to be under the table. Now as you're here, all right, you're doing this, and as soon as you kick it under, listen. 
I'm under the table, scraping the underside of the table uh, with this coin to replace the sound that's missing here. So again, another auditory illusion. Boom, and I do that snapping thing again. That's just a great, great way to vanish a coin because it, it leaves them with no, ch it's very, very impossible. The focus can be 100% on the coin and it, it just disappears, which is a really cool thing. You didn't throw it off the table, you didn't ditch it. Of course, you have it under the napkin, but you gotta be careful that no one grabs it. If they do, whatever, just teach them the trick at that point. Uh, another great little subtlety uh, that I did in the beginning was I had the coin here in my hand and I was just holding the cup like this and I was taking a sip and I was like, oh, let me show you something cool. If you kind of do this, you can actually have it go right through. Now, what's great about that is that first of all, the coin vanishes and your hand is here while your other hand is occupied the whole time. And so there's no way you could have gotten it into that cup until, until right there, which makes it really impossible. Another layer of psychology added. And all I'm doing again is I'm holding whatever coin I'm using right here, slapping it up against the glass and just kind of sitting here casually waiting for the trick to happen. I've got this coin, I've got my change out and I said, oh, you want to see something cool with a, Watch this, if I take it, look, I can push it right through into the glass. Now that's really fooling and it happens very quickly. Uh, but that's a really, really cool subtlety that you can add with the glass. It's just keeping it there and all you're doing is under your index. So make sure they don't see it. But if you can see that under my index, under the table, all I'm doing is this. Literally just pushing it in there at the exact same time that I push it through. But if you're gonna do the napkin vanish, okay? If you're gonna do this little napkin vanish here, don't go and rub it around the table because you can't, once you're here, you stop, you stop moving around so that you can come here with this and push it through, all right? Now, you don't have to do this vanish with this, uh, with this cup, with this glass if you don't want to. You can do the same thing we taught before, which is just like this, you know? push it through like that. That's also a good way to do it. So many, many different denominations and many different ways of pushing it through the table. I think the easiest and most simple way, honestly, is uh, if you false transfer this. So you keep this in like a finger palm, you go here, you know, and you can knock it and then slap it up underneath the table. And all I'm doing there is keeping it in finger palm right here. All right, it's a little bit small for my fingers, but, and I'm pretending to put it over here. As my hand comes under the table, I'm preparing it like this so I can tap it. And then I do that flick thing. Right through the other side. I mean, you can play around with all different types of vanishes. They don't have to be, they can be vanishes, you know, like this. You go here. Boom, nickel goes through. All different types of way to vanish a coin. Um, Bobo's coin magic has, you know, literally dozens of ways you can get away with vanishing a coin. At you know, add subtleties to make it more convincing. The bottom line is, those are some really cool bar tricks for the unsuspecting spectator, especially if they've had a few drinks. So that about wraps it up. So get your coins, start practicing. All you need is a napkin, some coins, a table, and a glass, and you're all set. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun little thing to do. I'm glad that I got to teach that to you. If you already do coin magic or coin through table or any of that, I hope that you use the little subtleties that I added, especially the ring thing on the glass. That's like, mm, so good. Many, many different references for this uh, effect. And there's m there are many ways to perform it as I went through. You can vanish the coin all sorts of different ways. I think the most important thing you have to learn is how to do it organically and how to know when the situation is right, when the timing is right to perform this trick. Because out of the blue and you're just doing it, you know, people will suspect that it's a puzzle for them to figure out. So in order to not make it a puzzle, have everything set up organically and then just you know, when the steer the conversation towards magic or something and then and then do it there, you'll get a much greater reaction. So guys, again, thanks so much for supporting me. Thanks so much for watching this video and tune in. This week I'll be dropping more videos. I just don't know when, but every Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern, you're going to learn something. So hit the bell notification on my channel if you want to be notified for the other videos this week and next week and week and week, whatever. I'll be heading out to New York at the end of the week and I'm gonna to try to film a whole bunch of stuff for you guys there. Regardless, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace. Right.